The last ever match at West Ham's bowling ground in Upton Park, London, is just ending. It's dawn in the East End, the home of Vic Watson, Bobby Moore, Trevor Brooking and now Dimitri Payet is about to take its final bow. This iconic football monument to dreams that have flied so high is soon to be knocked down. West Ham's journey started here in 1895 as a Canning Town shipbuilders team. After moving to East Ham in March 1897 and then West Ham a few months later, the club was named West Ham United in 1900. The move to Upton Park came in 1904, and 112 years later, there's the journey to Stratford and the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. But today there is one last match in Upton Park. One more match for an area that vibrantly reflects today's London. This is one of the best areas I ever come across, especially on a football days. It's like a biggest carnival. Most of the fans coming from outside and they enjoy, they enjoy the burgers, enjoy the sausage, English breakfast. It's, that smell is no more from today onwards. Oh, it's the end of an era. I suppose we have to say they're moving on, but for most people, a club that's been here 112 years, that's a long time. People in the area will miss the club enormously, even those who complain about parking and so on. It's a sellout crowd for the evening Premier League game against Manchester United and the streets around the stadium are soon taken over by the passion of football. I arrived here just after four o'clock, walked up to Upton Park Station and got emotional. Got as far as the chippy and had to stop and pat someone on the shoulder. I said to him, I don't think I'm going to make it down to the rest of the Green Street. We're all from different areas now, we live in different places, but West Ham is something that ties us all together. It's our lives. It's our childhood, it's our history, our parents supported them, we support them, and but we have to say goodbye to it. But it's time to go. Any more your farewell scarf? You got the history of the bowling. Any more your farewell scarf? In your ex magazine. Two, please. Two, mate. God bless you. Uh, it's a little bit emotional. We've been coming over here now for probably 50 years. It's just an emotional time, really. Uh, really looking forward to the game tonight. Let's hope we can uh, do it for the fans. So emotional, emotionally uh, unbelievable. My brother, West Ham to the I am West Ham to I die. I know who I am, I say I am on West Ham to I die. The bowling's a fantastic round, and I just hope the Olympic Stadium can get near it. Yeah, we've got to go forward. I can understand that for the team. 60,000 seats sold, 66,000 they're looking about. That's what we'd be good stuff in London. Every fan has their pre-match ritual, their favourite pub, their favourite place to meet, or their favourite cafe. But it's a ritual that will no longer be part of their lives when the ground becomes luxury flats. Come over here at a certain time, you meet your mates, and uh, normally if I'm on my own without my boy, have a few beers, have some pie and mash, and you know, that's like the ritual of the day. Hopefully on top of that is a win for West Ham as well. So it's nice to be a part of history, really. By the time I've probably got kids, the stadium will probably be knocked down and made into flats, because I think that's the next plan, isn't it? Blocks of flats. No, we don't want to see blocks of flats. I only stopped going when my husband died because it was his second home. Um, I said he always had two homes, West Ham football <laughs> and my house. All my memories of here uh, are going to go now. Well, they'd only be memories now, wouldn't they? And this is my past. But fo football, I mean, football's with all our families been our life. 
we, last game, but we'll be in Europe next year. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> when they announced that they was going to go for it, I was, and along with everybody else, no, we don't want to leave, but the closer you get and you realise the implications that it might have for the future, and I want my grandchildren who... I'm going to cry. <laughs> I want my grandchildren to take it away, mate. I can't do it. I can't do this. I'm sorry. Wait till I've had a few more beers. Tonight is far more than a match. This is the end of a way of life. West Ham's most loyal fans are going through the same turnstiles that their dads and granddads did. Love you, West Ham. My son, he was, you know, not made to support West Ham, but he was bought a West Ham kit. He wore it and now he wears a scarf with pride. It's a good family club and that's how West Ham is. It goes through the generations. My dad used to take me here when I was a little girl and um, we used to watch the matches together um, and it's so special and that's why I brought um, Harry and Tom here tonight. Well, when the final whistle goes, I, we just all feel so sad. Last time, boys, in it goes. I couldn't miss it. It's a once in a lifetime, yeah? You can't miss the last game. Being supported your club for 50 years. I had to be here. All your memories, that's all you've got is memories when you're, when you're an old man. That's all you've got is memory. My family is always same. So I should always be that, you know. I can't say any different. I'm a West Hammer and <laughs> I'm a right old cockney and you won't take it out of me, not now. <laughs>